Namaste. I am CA Divya Mata and today I am in conversation with CA Pramod Jain sir on the subject of dematerialization of shares and we would touch upon the main aspects today. Ah, thank you. Namaste to all. So, are all the shareholders of public unlisted companies required to get their shares dematerialized? Uh, Deva, no, uh, it is not all public uh, companies, I would say. Uh, the exemption is given to uh, government companies, nidhi companies and a wholly owned subsidiary. Uh, it is not a subsidiary, but a wholly owned subsidiary. So, if those are public companies, so to them the exemption is given. Okay. So, what would happen if the shareholders do not get their shares dematerialized? In case uh, the shareholders do not get their shares dematerialized, and specifically the directors, the KMPs and the promoters, then the company cannot issue any new fresh shares or a right issue or a bonus issue, they cannot go for the same. Further, if the shareholders do not get their shares dematerialized, of a public company uh, with effect from 2nd October 2018, uh, their shares cannot be transferred. So, that is required. So, private companies ke liye dematerialization applicable hai? Yes, uh, it is applicable even to the private companies now, except small companies, except small companies, even section 8 companies are covered. Okay. Or private companies ke upar kab se applicable hai? Uh, the rule, the new rule 9b, it says that any company which is not a small company as on 31st March 23, okay. so they will have to uh, get their shares dematerialized, that, that is required. So, 31st March 23 onwards, uh, within 18 months, they have to get it dematerialized. And if the company incorporate hi baad mein hui hai, let's say 1st July 23 mein incorporation hai. Yes, very nice, very nice question, very important. Ki you do not have to see only on 31st March 23. Now, suppose as you said that if the company is incorporated on 1st July 23, so from the end of the financial year, on or after 31st March, so its financial year would end on 31st March 24. So, March 24, say next 18 months ke under, they have to get their shares dematerialized. Okay. So, right. what is the shareholder required to do? The shareholder is required to have its own DMAT account. Okay. Aaj date mein maximum share individuals are having their DMAT account mm -hmm. for uh, public trading and others. The same account can do. If not, okay. then they have to apply for a DMAT account. Okay, so already share trading ke liye DMAT accounts hai, usi mein hi they can have their Bilkul. dematerialized securities. Right, right. Okay. What do they have to do? Kya process rahega dematerialization ke liye procedure kya rahega? In fact, uh, the company is required to have uh, ISIN, International Security Identification Number. So, company has to take that ISIN. Okay. And uh, from where to obtain, the con, kisko apply karna hai? That company actually that uh, who is required to take ISIN, jisko ISIN hai, wo SEBI registered registrar and share transfer agent. Kisi SEBI, okay. wo ISIN le sakta hai. And agar wo aisa nahi karte hai? Agar wo nahi karte, even in the case of private companies, uh, the company is not taking ISIN or the shareholders, they are not getting their share dematerialized. So, just a public company, in case can there be, wo company, they cannot issue any fresh issue, right issue, bonus issue, buyback of shares. The shares cannot be transferred. So, just a public company, within 18 years. Okay. And is there any further compliance, uh, Lely ISIN or dematerialization, uske baad kuch compliances? Yes, uh, every company has to file a reconciliation form, uh, pass 6 within within uh, 60 days from the end of the each half year, they will have to, they have to file that. And the pass 6 ka non-compliance kar diya, nahi file kiya? Uh, non-compliance, mere saab se is made two things, one is pass 6, second is, the company is not taking ISIN. By dematerialized to Maliji, make a transfer, nay karane, make a fresh issue, bonus issue, ya promoters, nay nay karne, to unu ne dematerialized nay karai. Toki un shareholder to scope me demet karane padding. So in that case, unu ne nay karai, to jo a general penalty under section 450, minimum 10,000 on the company, 1000 rupees per day, maximum 2 lakhs, or officer in default keeper 50,000, wali penalty. Okay. So, company quite yes. Okay. 
I think we have touched upon all the main aspects that were covered by the notifications regarding dematerialization of shares. And that's all for today. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Divya. And in fact, uh, as discussed, uh, every private company who is not exempt should take ISIN at the earliest. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you so much, sir. Namaste.